you guys welcome to my channel my name is Liz if you're new I'm so happy you're here this video is geared towards beginners so if you're not a beginner in the gym this workout might be pretty easy there are no super sets or anything like that it's very cut and dry but it's a longer workout because it's full body so we're hitting the shoulders we're hitting the tricep back we're hitting the glutes we're hitting the quads we're hitting the hamstrings we're hitting the calves all of it so there are nine different exercises in this workout so it's pretty long but we're only doing three sets of each so that means we're gonna do each exercise three different times for 10 to 12 reps per time if that makes sense but I'll show you everything right now no need to be overwhelmed I'm gonna show you everything step by step take you through it and I'm going to write everything down in the description box as well so that you can screenshot it and take it with you to the gym after you watch this video so you're not nervous or intimidated once you get there. Or you can do it at home if you have a set of dumbbells on ya. Let's hop into the workout. Today we're doing a full body beginners dumbbell only workout. I'm gonna start with shoulders. We're gonna start with the shoulder press. It's super simple. You grab your dumbbells like this, put them over your head with your elbows in alignment with your shoulders. So, and then you just press up to meet at the top. You don't want to smash your dumbbells together because that's a short sign that you don't know what you're doing. So try not to smash them at the top. And do a 10 to 12 reps of all of these exercises. to look like you know exactly what you're doing in the gym. Seriously, this will make you look like you've already been in the gym for like two years. Put a slight bend in your knees, engage your core, um, relax your shoulders back a little bit, and stick your chest out. And this is just kind of a general thing for like cable machines, for really any movement, and it'll make you look like you know what you're doing and make your form that much more on point. So just keep in mind, plant your feet, put a slight bend in your knees, engage your core, relax your shoulders back, and stick your chest out just a little bit, and then boom, you look like you're an experienced gym junkie. So the next movement is gonna be an alternating shoulder raise. Do one to the front, and then one to the side. So we'll do them at the same time. One to the front, and one to the side, and then you just switch arms. I know it's a little bit more complicated than most beginners would like, but since this is a full body workout, we need to make sure that we're hitting all the heads of your shoulder. Next we're doing just a regular bicep curl. So just like I said before, your knees need to be shoulder width apart. Put a slight bend in them, engage your core, relax your shoulders back and stick your chest slightly out. You're gonna pinch your elbows in at your waist, really tight, and then you're just gonna curl up, okay? So if you do all those things, you're gonna look like you know what you're doing, even if you have a lighter weight. I'm just curling 10 pounds right now, like, and I'm feeling it. Don't feel embarrassed if you're starting lighter. It's totally fine. You can do 10 to 12 reps of this. So now we're going to do rows. There's a couple different variations of rows. These are called rows because when you're seated, doing with a cable row, for example, it looks like you're rowing a canoe or a boat or any kind of vessel that floats on water. <laughs> So we're not gonna be doing seated rows. Our kind of rows that we're doing today are bent over dumbbell rows, thank you honey. Put one hand on the bench, one knee on the bench, and then you're gonna pick up your dumbbell. I like to put a little bit of distance in with my foot between our bench. Just because you don't wanna use your glute muscles or your lower back to lift the weight. You wanna solely focus on lifting the weight with your back. So honey, my lovely assistant, can you poke right where we're gonna need to focus the weight? If you need to have someone do this, it really does help to have that mind to muscle connection if someone pokes right where you need to be focusing. So you just roll the weight slowly 
and really focus on squeezing the muscle at the top and not using any other body except for your back and the pulling arm. So the next exercise we're gonna do is gonna be targeting your triceps, which is this muscle right here. Start by laying on the ground. Make sure that your arm is straight up and down in alignment with your shoulder. All right, and then you're just gonna bend like a hinge at your elbow. And then you're gonna come to reach just about your head height. Slow and controlled, you're not gonna wanna move your shoulder all over the place. Lock it in place into the ground and then hinge at your elbow slowly. There are other variations that you can do of this particular exercise. I prefer this because I feel like it targets my tricep the best. You can even hold it at your elbow so you're making sure you're not swaying, moving, rocking. For all of these exercises, you need to make sure that you're challenging yourself with the amount of weight you're using. Even if you are just beginning in the gym, maybe starting with the second week, start challenging yourself with the weight. That's how you're gonna start seeing results. So the sooner you start pushing yourself, the better. Um, intensity is everything in the game of fitness and seeing results in general. So make sure that you're pushing yourself with the amount of weight you're using with every exercise. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lower body, uh, starting with our quads, which is this muscle right here, this one. And we're gonna do lunges. They're really basic, simple, and it's a good movement for just your full lower body. It'll really hit your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings, depending on how you stretch. And what I mean by that is, if you're gonna do a closer stance, it's gonna be more for your quads. So if you're closer together like this, it's gonna be more for your quads. But if we're doing a walking lunge and you're doing a stretch, a big stretch and pushing up through your glutes, that's gonna be more for your glutes. So really just do whatever feels best for you. are doing is a straight legged deadlift. It's really important that you incorporate some form of deadlifts into your workout. It's a compound movement that's going to hit all the muscle, muscles, all, all the important muscles. It'll hit your shoulders, it's going to hit your glutes and your hamstrings really hard. So let me show you how to do it. It's intimidating at first, I know, but you have to try it. That's why it's good to sneak off into a side room or even if you're doing this at home. Like I said before, your stance, a slight bend in your knees. You're going to want to push your shoulders back and stick your chest out just a little bit. Engage your core. It's very, very important when you're deadlifting. You're going to hinge at your hips. It's like kind of you're sticking your butt out, okay? And you'll feel really, really good stretch in your hamstrings. And then pull up and squeeze those cheeks, sister. It's very important. Or brother. Just squeeze your cheeks, whoever you are. so important that you're not bending your back like this, right? So bad, this hurts just doing this. So you need to engage your back, flat back, not over arched, flat back. Okay, so next we're on to the booty, it's super we're gonna do a glute bridge. You're gonna start with your shoulders on the end of the bench. And we're gonna do single leg glute bridge because with a dumbbell, it's kind of hard to push yourself with the weight because it's not gonna be like super heavy. And your glutes, my glutes are really strong. So I find that if I do single legged, I get a better burn in my glutes. Plus I can overextend a little bit, which I personally need. Don't know why. Make sure that you're going your full range of motion. So make sure your butt's getting close to the ground, not touching the ground. Getting close, unless you've got a long torso, which I don't. So something that's gonna help you focus the movement on your glute is the placement of your foot. If you turn it outwards slightly, 
it's gonna focus more <laughs> on your glutes. Great angle, honey, great choice. So next we're gonna do our calves. These are just calf raises, but they're really simple. It's an up, down, up, down movement. I personally find that I get a better range of motion if I'm on top of something. You definitely don't have to do this by any means, but I have flexible calves. So overextending at the bottom a little bit helps me. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, which I hope you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I upload usually about two videos a week, definitely one. I do a lot of motherhood and fitness style content, but I'm planning a wedding right now. So that's why my content has been a little bit more vlog style, but I love health and fitness. My goal for my YouTube channel is to help my subscribers become their most healthy and thriving selves and overall just teach you how to live a more vibrant life. I have a very practical approach to healthy living and fitness and I like to share that with you guys and show you that it doesn't have to be crazy complicated and show you easy ways to commit to your health and commit to yourself. So if that's something you're interested in doing, make sure you subscribe, stick around and turn on your notification bell to be the first to be notified every time I upload a new video. It's just that little bell next to the subscribe button. You hit that and it'll say, hey, Liz, all that you're just uploaded a new video. Make sure you stick around and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.